in this module we will discuss framing of likelihood function and the maximum likelihood estimation in the context of survival data. Now, survival data usually come from life testing experimentation, different clinical trials etcetera. The most common feature of survival data is censoring. So, due to censoring we have to pay special attention while framing the likelihood function obviously based on survival data. In this module we will study to frame the likelihood function and to discuss the maximum likelihood estimation under type 1 and type 2 censoring. Censoring in particular is a key issue in survival analysis. It is censoring which distinguishes survival analysis from regular statistical problems. Censoring is when an observation is incomplete due to some random cause. The cause of the censoring is usually dependent on the event of interest. In this module that is why we will study the maximum likelihood estimation under survival data in presence of type 1 and type 2 censoring. Censoring differs from truncation in that the incomplete nature of the observations in truncation occurs due to a systematic selection process inherent to the study design. Based on the directions through which incompleteness in the observations comes, censoring is of three types, right censoring, left censoring and interval censoring, right censoring. It is the most common form of censoring. Here the lifetime of an item is followed until some time at which the event that is failure or death is yet to occur, but the event takes no further part in the study after that time. As per example, a lung cancer patient is recruited for clinical trial to test the effect of a drug on his survival from lung cancer. But suppose he dies in a car accident after t years of his lung cancer discovery. This implies his survival with lung cancer is at least t years, but exact years cannot be known. So clearly it is a right censored situation. Left censoring. This occurs when the event of interest has already taken place at the time of observation, but the exact time of occurrence of the event is not known. For example, onset of an asymptomatic illness like brain cancer or infection with a sexually transmitted disease like HIV or AIDS. Interval censoring. Here the exact time of event occurs is not known precisely but an interval bounding this time is known. In case the interval is too short, say for example one day or one hour etc., the common practice is to ignore the interval censoring and to set one endpoint of the interval consistently. For example, failure of a machine during Chinese New Year celebration which takes place throughout 15 days or infection with a sexually transmitted disease like HIV or AIDS in between two annual checkups. Depending on how censoring mechanism will work, there are three broad types of censoring, type 2 censoring, type 1 censoring and random censoring. 
Now we will discuss briefly each of these three types of censoring in the form of right censoring and also the maximum likelihood estimations of the corresponding parameters associated with the survivorship probability models. Type 2 censoring. Suppose n random sample units are set on life testing experimentation. But due to some reasons the experiment terminates after consideration of smallest r readings where r is necessarily less than n. Let this be denoted by the order statistics t order 1, t order 2 etc up to t order r. Here integer r is non-random and prefixed to be decided prior to the experiment. And since the remaining n minus r random sample values are at least as high as t order r, this implies the sampling scheme is a censored one. Such a censoring is known as type 2 censoring. Type 2 censoring are frequently used in life testing experiments. Here say total of n items are placed on test. Now instead continuing until all n items get spared, suppose the experimenter waits just for the first r failures. Such test can save both time and money. Let capital TI denote lifetime or failure time of ith item. Suppose TIs be IID having a continuous distribution with PDF small f t theta and CDF capital F t theta at the point t where theta denotes the parameter of the distribution. Then given small t order 1, small t order 2 etc, small t order r which are the realizations of capital T order 1, capital T order 2 up to capital T order r. The likelihood function of theta under type 2 censoring is capital L theta equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial times product of f theta t order 1 etc up to f theta t order r into capital F bar theta t order r whole to the power n minus r where capital F bar is the complement of capital F that is 1 minus capital F. Verification of this likelihood. We know from theory of order statistics that the joint PDF of all the order statistics t order 1, t order 2 up to t order n is say small h theta at the point t order 1, t order 2 up to t order n and that must be equal to n factorial times product over i from 1 to n pdf small f theta at t order i. This implies the marginal joint pdf of t order 1, t order 2 up to t order r at the point small t order 1 dot dot up to small t order r will be g theta at t order 1 up to t order r and that can be obtained by integrating n factorial into product over f theta t i with respect to t order r plus 1 up to t order n. And that is equal to n factorial into product over i from 1 to r f theta t i times integration with respect to t order 1 etc up to t order n of the PDF f theta t order 1 t order 2 up to t order n and that is equal to n factorial times product over i from 1 to r f theta t order i times integration of the PDF f theta t order n with respect to t order n and the dependent range should be taken as t order n minus 1 to infinity. Now this integration will give us 1 minus capital F theta at t order n minus 1. Again taking the corresponding PDF that is F theta t order n minus 1 with this form and integrating it with the dependent range 
t order n minus 2 to infinity we get on simplification that n factorial times product over i from 1 to r f theta t order i times integration of 1 minus f theta t n minus 2 whole to the power 2 by 2 factorial and we can draw the pdf f theta at t order n minus 2 with this form and we can again integrate it such that we can get n factorial by 2 factorial into 3 into product over i from 1 to r f theta t i and integration of 1 minus f theta t order n minus 3 whole to the power 3 multiplied with small f theta t order n minus 3 and the other pdfs as it is. Now proceeding this way and noting the symmetry in each stage we can finally get that g theta of t order 1 t order 2 t order r equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial times product over i from 1 to r f theta t order i times f bar theta t order r whole to the power n minus r. But we know that given the realizations the form of joint pdf serves as the likelihood of theta. Hence, the form of the likelihood is verified. Here, capital F bar theta at the point t is the survival function at the time point small t. Now, let us consider the following illustration. Illustration. Let the lifetime of an item follow an exponential distribution with mean theta. This implies the PDF is F theta t equal to 1 by theta into e to the power minus t by theta and the survival function at the point t is f bar t theta that is equal to e to the power minus t by theta. This implies under type 2 censoring the likelihood function of theta will be capital L theta equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial times 1 by theta to the power r times e to the power minus t order 1 by theta etc into e to the power minus t order r by theta into e to the power minus n minus r into t order r by theta. On simplification we get this is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial times 1 by theta to the power r times e to the power minus summation i from 1 to r t order i plus n minus r times t order r whole divided by theta. So, this implies the log likelihood small l theta will be constant minus r times log theta minus summation t i plus n minus r times t order r divided by theta. This means the first order derivative of small l theta that is l prime theta will be equal to minus r by theta plus summation t order i plus n minus r times t order r divided by theta square. This implies the unique solution of likelihood equation L prime theta equal to 0 will be theta hat equal to summation i from 1 to r t order i plus n minus r times t order r whole divided by r. From second order condition we can ensure that this theta hat maximizes the likelihood function capital L theta that is this theta hat is the maximum likelihood estimator of theta under type 2 censoring. Next we discuss type 1 censoring, type 1 censoring. Sometimes experiments are run over a fixed period of time such that the exact lifetime of an item will be known only if it is less than some predetermined value. In such a situation the data are said to be type 1 censored from right. More precisely a type 1 censored sample is one that arises when n items numbered say 1, 2 up to n are subject to limited periods of observations and let capital L1, capital L2 dot dot up to capital Ln be those periods such that ith items lifetime 
denoted by capital T i is observable only if capital T i is less than equal to capital L i. Here capital L i is called fixed censoring time for the ith item. If all L i's are equal, the data are said to be single type 1 censored. Let us assume that capital T i's are independently and identically distributed with common PDF small f theta t and survival function capital F bar theta t. From ith item, we record the exact lifetime capital T i as the realization provided capital T i is less than equal to capital L i. Otherwise, capital L i is recorded as the realization. Let capital Y denote the potential response that is the response which is surely obtained from ith item. Then we can easily say that capital Y is equal to capital T i if capital T i is less than equal to capital L i and this is called uncensored case. Similarly, capital Y will take the form capital L i provided capital T i is greater than capital L i and this situation is called censored case for all i. This implies y i takes the minimum of T i and L i. Also define indicator variables delta i which takes the value 1 under uncensored case that is when T i is less than equal to L i and delta i equal to 0 under censored case that is when T i is greater than L i. Then these delta i's are called censoring indicators. So, the type 1 censored data can be represented by the pairs of random variables capital Y i delta i for all i. This implies the joint likelihood of theta for given data set say small t i comma delta i for all i from 1 to n based on the paired random variables capital Y i delta i's will be capital L theta equal to small f theta t i whole to the power delta i into capital F bar theta at the point capital L i whole to the power 1 by delta i. Now the question is how this is obtained? It is true that probability that capital Y i takes the value small y i given delta i equal to 0 must be equal to 1 provided small y i is equal to capital L i. It is because of the fact that delta i equal to 0 is equivalent to saying capital T i greater than L i and that is equivalent to saying y i equal to L i. Or we can say that probability that y i equal to small y i comma delta i equal to 0 is equal to probability that delta i equal to 0 and that is same as saying probability that T i greater than L i provided small y i equal to L i. Now this is nothing but capital F bar theta at the point small y i when y i equal to capital L i that is when delta i equal to 0. Or we can say that the likelihood corresponding to ith item is capital L i theta and that is equal to capital F bar theta at the point small y i if delta i equal to 0 or equivalently if y i equal to capital L i. Let us denote this relation by star. In this module, we discussed briefly about the general notion of censoring. We also studied how to frame the likelihood function and how to study the maximum likelihood estimation with survival data under type 1 and type 2 censoring. An illustration helped us towards this discussion in this context.